Hi and welcome to a new video. If your iPhone or iPad gets very hot and you're wondering why and what you can do about it, then this is the right video for you. Let's go! Some applications on the iPhone require more power than others. As a result, the iPhone heats up more than with apps that require little power. For example, if you record high-quality videos on the iPhone, it is not unusual for it to heat up quite a bit. The same applies to graphics-intensive games or augmented reality apps, where the processor and the graphics unit simply need more energy than with less complex apps. In addition, the iPhone likes to heat up when you restore your iPhone from an iCloud backup, if you are just setting it up or using wireless charging. But don't worry about your iPhone overheating. On the one hand, a processor is fine with functioning normally at 149 degrees Fahrenheit. For a person, however, this feels quite hot already. On the other hand, the iPhone constantly measures its temperature and regulates it accordingly. Yes, an iPhone does not have fans like a computer does, but by reducing the brightness, for example, its temperature can be reduced. In addition, the charging speed can be slowed down with wireless charging, the cellular reception can get weaker, and of course, the entire iPhone itself can become slower and even start to hang, because the processor is no longer running at full power. If the iPhone has exceeded its operating temperature, you will see this screen. This usually happens if you leave your iPhone in direct sunlight or in the car. In this case, you have to let the iPhone cool down first before you can use it again. But how do you handle your phone properly in order to not get so hot anymore? First of all, it is recommended to use the iPhone at temperatures between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, preferably not in the sun. Additionally, you can just remove your iPhone case if you notice that your iPhone is getting very hot. This way, the temperature of the iPhone can be released much better into the air. Another thing you can do is to turn on low power mode. To do this, go to settings, tap on battery, and activate the low power mode. Now your display will get slightly darker and the processor a bit slower. By doing this, the iPhone will no longer heat up that much. If your iPhone is constantly too warm, then check your settings for a software update. Go to General, then to Software Update and check whether you have the latest iOS version installed. Maybe Apple has a bug in this iOS version that causes this problem. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time! Bye!